Hey everybody, James with My British Supply. This little girl here, I'm not gonna draw blood from her, but I'm gonna show you how to do a tourniquet that's so easy to do for drawing blood. This is Kit, she's our little, you're a hero girl, aren't you? She's a beautiful little thing. Can you tell she's daddy's girl? Oh, she's beautiful. <laughs> she's a really nice dog. Okay, so this is so easy if you know how to do it. This is my idea, I think. I haven't seen anybody else do it. But what you do is you get an elastic band the entire knot in the middle of it. Here, show you the can, knot. You can take a couple of smaller elastic bands time together. Get a nice knot in the middle. I'm gonna put a bigger knot in the middle of this. It just makes it a little easier. And you'll see why here in a second. So what is the tourniquet? The idea behind the tourniquet is you want something where you can constrict the blood so that the vein pops out. So come over this way here, Tammy. So here it goes. I'm taking this and I'm, I'm taking this. done it on the other arm. And I'm painting this through the knot like that. That's it. That's the tourniquet. And the beautiful thing about this is look, one pull and it comes off. It's yeah, so show easy. That again. So hey, here we go again. I can't see because your hands are so big. So and it's on th there it is. Yes. And I take the knot, right. grab the knot through it, get right. it where I want it, and just let it go. Okay. And now you can see here, the veins popped up right there. If you shave this and put some alcohol on it, by the way, if you're going to do this, you need to have gloves on, mm -hmm. keep everything sterile. Mm -hmm. Hard for you to see, but I can feel the vein right there. Let's just see if we can get that vein to pop up a little bit. She's like, you're gonna do what to me? <laughs> so the, the alcohol does two things. One is it sterilizes the area. So what you should do is, is take a paper towel and just get everything nice and wiped off with the alcohol. Put a bit more alcohol on it because it make, what it does is it, it makes the skin cold and it draws the skin up. And I can see it, but I can absolutely feel right I think there. I can see it, yeah. Right there. But the nice thing about it is it's so easy to do. Of course, we've done it. One, one pull, and that whole thing comes off. So that's the idea. And let's check with the smaller one. There's the smaller one. Okay, goes You're around the arm. Yet. Goes around the arm. Pull it through. Get it where you want it. Just let it go. And there it is. And again, I can see the vein right there just popping up. And just a single pull gets off. It's and it's free and you can throw that away you can you know you don't have to go buy a 50 dollar tourniquet it's a one-handed operation which the other ones are not it's just a, such a simple way to do it that's all i wanted to show you um but that's a little tip from uh, mybuddhasupply.com be nice to your doggies bye everybody bye so we were showing how to use a tourniquet in preparation for pulling blood so i guess the other part about this is why the heck would you pull blood so the the things you need to pull blood would be i use a one mil syringe Small syringes are much easier to pull blood because it doesn't produce a huge vacuum. And if you do produce a full, huge vacuum, it blocks the needle up with the red blood cells. So a one mil syringe for anything we do is more than enough blood. And then we like to use a 22 gauge, one and a half inch needle. So the two go together. Sterilized, that's a sterilized needle. One time you use, never ever reuse a needle. No. The dog will not like it if you do that because they get blood just after one well, use. Well, like okay. dolls too. Yeah, so why would you do this? Well. One would be you might do, be doing a genetics test. You might be doing a progesterone test with our progesterone machine or a progesterone test with the, the vet's office. And then we sell a number of kits to test things like Giardia, canine parvo, brucellosis, and uh, there's one more, I can't, uh, Giardia. Did I get that right? Yeah. There's four tests that we sell at the moment. And these, all of these test kits, by the way, come with a, the test is physically inside this, you just open mm -hmm. it up. Typically they've got a shelf life of up to two years. Keep them, don't have to be refrigerated. And then every test that we sell will have instructions and it'll have all the necessary stuff in the test. If you need needles and syringes, it'll include it. If it's, if it's done with the fecal sample, then it'll have swabs to collect the fecal sample and put it into a container with a buffer solution. Very easy to use. So, but always use gloves, please. Yeah, so if, you, if you've got dogs uh, that you're having problems with puppies, Giardia is something that's fairly hard to diagnose with the vet. It's much easier to go get a snap test like this, have these on hand. So Giardia. And it's cheaper. <laughs> yes, yeah, so a lot with no vet visit either. And you get yeah. the results within that's what five I'm minutes. Yeah. Cheaper, and you don't take your dog down to right. the vet's office to get something else. Giardia, brucellosis, Pregnancy test, that's one I missed, pregnancy test, <laughs> and uh, the canine parvo test. The pregnancy test, you do it 30 days after AI for reliable results. Yes, that's always it. do that canine parvo test because that will wipe out your whole kennel. Well, uh, do that test if you think you've got parvo. You don't have to do it otherwise. Oh, yeah, yeah. But 
also the brucellosis. That's what I was oh, thinking Oh, yes, of the too. brucellosis test. So let's just talk about these tests real quick since Tammy brought that up. So the brucellosis test is sexually transmitted disease. If you bring a dog onto your property that has brucellosis and you don't know it, it can potentially wipe out all of your dogs from being able to breed and they'll then, then have stillborn puppies. Oh. And you can't fix it. So you've got to find it before and not let the dog on the property requires a blood test. Yes, if you're using your male and you're using somebody's female as a teaser that you don't have a clue about. Why is your test? Yeah, because he's cleaning her back area. Nose to nose, to nose, nose contact. To nose, nose and to, cleaning her nose to, to back end private contact. areas. Yep. You're asking for problems. So brucellosis, canine parvo, we've done a whole video on that, but canine parvo is such a bad disease. You absolutely, if you think you've got puppies who got canine parvo, you need to find out very quickly, quarantine and treat. Um, Giardia is a gut parasite, it's very common in puppies. It is fairly hard to detect it with a flotation test from the vet, it's much easier just to do a snap test on that one. And uh, of course the pregnancy test is to find out whether there's happy days ahead. That one you've got to do at 30 days. The brucellosis and the, and the pregnancy both require that you pour blood. The other two are both of fecal samples, so they're extremely easy to administer. And the blood's not difficult, but like everything, you know, it's technique and a little bit of practice and you can do it. Practice and makes perfect. That's right. Okay, so that's from mybritishsupply.com. Bye, everybody.